the chambers like you expected? Yeah, I found a point to keep some things. It's Russian Helen. for some time, Rasheen. I take it you've been attending another parish. Um, the school have offered me a permanent position, and since I've been moving from a temporary contract into a full-time post, I just need my certificate of approval updated, so I'd be grateful if you could sign it for me. And that's it, yes? Simple as that. Thank you, Father. Goodbye, Father. I was given this by the Archdiocese. The appropriate section being the update of the Educate Scotland Act 1918. In particular, the amendments of 1989, Schedule 10, Paragraph 8. Each teacher shall be approved as to his religious belief and character by the representative of the church in whose interest the school is being conducted. What do you think is the rationale behind Catholic schools? It is a community of faith where pupils and teachers work together, recognizing that they share the same Christian values. What do you make of that? That is the law of the land. I wasn't aware of the details, Father. <laughs> well, it's even more specific than you think. As parish priest, I have to satisfy myself that the teacher in question is giving public witness to their faith in their daily lives. Now, that is quite clear, Lushan. Okay, I'm not going to be around the bush. Are you living with a man? Sorry? Are you having sex outside of marriage? That's none of your business. It is my business. You've not been listening. I have a responsibility to the parents of those Catholic children that you teach. I am a priest. I'm not some 95 bureaucrat who's here just to rubber stamp things. I mean, what are you thinking? Do you think you can get into bed with any Tom, Dick, or Mohammed and then go away and teach me Catholic kids? What did you say? You heard fine well what I said. Who have you been talking that to? That is none of your business. None of my business? I'm sorry, but this is my life you're talking about. It's my, my job, my career. And who do you think you are speaking like this? Like I'm some, I'm your housekeeper or some altar boy. I am your parish priest. I'll speak to you about a man I see fit. Now sit down. I warn you. If you want to keep this job of yours, I suggest you take a seat. Now, sit! Now, let's both take a deep breath and see if we can sort this out amicably now. I do not doubt for a second that you are a wonderful teacher. In fact, I've got letters from the school saying how fantastic you are, but I have to listen to my conscience. In the eyes of the Catholic Church, you are still a married woman. Now, you're a young woman. You can apply for annulment. This boy you're living with, is he a Catholic? Would he consider becoming a Catholic? We haven't spoken about it. Well, I suggest you do. And anyway, even if he doesn't want to become a Catholic, we're not living in the Dark Ages. When you get an annulment, you can get a special dispensation from the church and then you can get married on the condition that you both vow that you will bring up your children as Catholics. Now, in the meantime, you cannot live in sin and come in here and ask me to rubber stamp it or give you some seal of approval. You might not like that, but that's simply the way it is. The faith of our fathers is not for the faint-hearted. Now, I'll give you some advice. You go home, you kick him out, and you get married. And if you're not prepared to do that, I suggest you go and teach the Protestants. 